For question 12.25, we're given a 12 molar solution of concentrated nitric acid, and we're told that we take 25 milliliters from that 12 molar solution. And we take that 25 milliliter sample and dilute it to a total volume of two liters and ask to find the concentration in that new solution. And so we're doing a dilution, and the calculation we should think of right away is M1V1 equals M2V2 where the molarity of the first sample times the volume of your first sample equals the molarity of your second sample times the volume of your second sample. And because we're doing a dilution, we should come up with something that has a lower concentration than our initial solution, right? I take a 12 molar solution. I take 25 milliliters of that solution, right? Taking 25 milliliters of that solution out. So now I've got a solution with 25 milliliters in it. And then to that solution, I'm going to dilute it to two liters of total volume. So to that solution, I add, right, 1,975 milliliters to that solution to have a final volume of two liters. So for the calculation, M1V1 equals M2V2. So the molarity of my first solution is 12 molar. I take 25 milliliters of that first solution, and that's going to equal my unknown, my molarity for the second solution times the volume. And my second solution is 2 liters, which is 2,000 milliliters. Right? I know that in every one liter, I have 1,000 milliliters, so I have 2,000 milliliters of my final volume. Multiply 12 and 25 together, and I get 300 molarity times milliliters equals the molarity of my unknown solution, that is 2,000 milliliters. Divide both sides by 2,000. Milliliters cancel out. That cancels out. And my second concentration, my concentration of my new solution, once I've diluted that to 2,000 milliliters, is 0.15 molar. The biggest trick with these calculations is you always want to make sure that your volume has the same units on both sides of this calculation. So we either want milliliters on both sides or liters on both sides. We want to make sure that the volume is the same, otherwise the calculation won't work. So because our volume was already 25 milliliters, I just converted the second volume, which is two liters. I converted that to milliliters as well prior to doing the calculation. M1V1 equals M2V2 is a really handy calculation. Anytime you're working in lab, anytime you have to make a stock solution and do a dilution from that, you're often going to use M1V1 equals M2V2 to figure out how much of your stock solution do you need, what do you need to dilute it to, to make a concentration, your desired concentration that you'd like to work with.